Zim Zimmo Fire. I will have the keys to the Bimmo Zim Zimmo How's it going guys? It's your boy PSN Simpsons, the OG Sim Simma, and I'm here with another video. So in today's video, it's actually going to be a little bit different from the usual stuff, and that's because it's not going to be gaming related. So today's video will actually be showing you how to put an overlay on your Twitch live stream. So this is actually going to be useful for the people that don't have a capture card and that just stream directly from their PlayStation or Xbox to Twitch, just like myself. So instead of going out to get a capture card or putting it through a different streaming thing and then capturing it through Twitch to stream it again and put an overlay, we'll actually be doing a much easier method. So what you're going to want to do is click on your profile right here and go to settings. Once you're on settings, you want to go to channel and videos. Once you're here, click the top left and extensions. Once you're on extensions, you're going to want to search for this extension. It's going to be called Overlay. So you're just going to press search. And it's Overlay Expert. So you want to click on that. And you're going to want to click Install. So mine's already installed, so it says Uninstall. But you're going to want to click Install. So once it's installed, you'll actually want to go to My Extensions. And this, so let's just deactivate, it will actually be over here. So what we'll want to do is we're going to want to put Activate and set as overlay number one. So now we've actually set it as our overlay. So let's go configure what it does, what it shows and all that stuff. Click configure and it'll show you. So it actually gives you some templates that you can use to just directly start off and start using it. But we're not gonna use any templates, right? Or if you want, you're gonna wanna customize the template to make it more yours. Give it that or original feeling. So this is actually mine, right? So I'm just going to go into edit. So I made this one from scratch using the templates they provide and everything that they provide. So this is actually what it's so it's going to offer you if you want to go through beginners walkthrough. Never show this again for me. I don't need that. So this is what it is. So you, it's going to start off with here. This is your save button. Make sure you save it once it's done. But you want to give it a title, description, game. I put any. Uh, whatever resolution I put a 1080p just to match what we're streaming at and that's gonna be just our basic options right there and then this is where the fun part starts so these are all called layers so each layer is we have a different name so I called this one the right team and there we go so for there you gonna you can choose the background to change remove it I'm gonna keep it because I already made this. And you can choose if you want to repeat it. No repeating for me. And you could choose the size actually as well. So we're not gonna edit any of that. We'll just show you it. And then size and position. So here as well, you can go more into the size options. You know, give it that left height width everything. I already set mine the way I want it to be, and so I'm just gonna leave it the way it is. So these are alerts. I put this as always shown because I don't want it to be time based or event based, but we will get into the event based later. Okay, so those are the alerts. Okay, and then the content. So this is actually going to be the content that it shows. So you're going to select what type it is. So mine's not a URL widget. None of these are. They're going to be all text. You're going to choose the font. It is powered by Google Fonts, the size, the color of the font, the weight of the font, scroll direction. I have it horizontal left. And then add new text group. So this is where actually you're going to be able to add to bring in the information. So you're going to so if you click that, it'll add a new text one, but I already have one. So I'm just going to click on it and you see how here it says recent follows. It's because I put it up here and then it gets the information from this little widget right here. So recent follows, we click on recent follows and it gets the information directly from Twitch and puts it in there for you. So you don't have to do any of the work. You just use this pre-built model. Okay. So that's for the followers. Just showing you the widget there. And I put the text just so it says recent follows in before it. So people know what they're reading once they're looking on stream. So you can put the alignment with the layer, horizontal, vertical, top, right? All that stuff. 
And the third thing, and the last thing, is actually chat quick toggles. So you can make these toggleable via chat commands. I'm not going to use that because I want them always to be visible so people always have that information. Okay, so we showed you those recent subscribers. Let's also show you the uh, recent followers. Let's also show you the follows. So I call my followers the Sim Simmas because I'm Simpsons and they're my Sim Simmas. So for this one, again, it's going to be all the same stuff. Just different background here for this one compared to this one. Size and positioning. Alerts. So again, we'll get back into alerts just a little bit down the road. And then content. So again, content is where the fun part is going to be and where it's going to input all the information that you need. So text, font, size, color, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And then add new text group. So I already have it in and I call my followers Sim Simmas. So I'm going to type in Sim Simmas first and then I'm going to click on the follows widget so I can get the number of followers that I have. Okay, so we're just going to press OK. Once it's done, OK, and then all this stuff you can make it to where it looks nice so we'll actually look at the timer and one more thing afterwards because these are following the same as these so the timer you can it's gonna follow the same same steps as these ones but for me personally I just put no text in front of the timer so I just put timer which is in general right here and it will actually just get the time of when you started the stream and it just keep counting which is awesome and then going into the final thing, which is alerts, I'm actually going to show you something else. So as we were going back, we also have new uh, different layers, right? So you can add a new layer. And then once you do that, I'll show an example. So when somebody subs to me, this actually pops up. So when this pops up, it'll show the name and it'll say just subbed. And it'll just scroll like this. Okay, and it'll just stay within here. So again, the background. I mean, just keep it that one size and positioning again keep it that one now alerts this is where you'll want to be using alerts so how are we gonna make this alert pop up there's different types always shown we don't want an always shown time based this is not based on time it's not we don't know if somebody's gonna subscribe five minutes in this is event based so event based it happens on an event and what type of event here they just show you a whole bunch that you could choose from but we put Twitch follow, uh, Twitch subscribe. Okay. So you can choose the volume. So you can also choose audio that comes with it, the volume of the audio, then how it enters and how it exits and the time that it's there. So let's just preview it very quickly, give you guys an example. Boom. It's gonna, obviously it's gonna be smoother on stream. It's just here because it's in this software. So I'm gonna turn off the preview. And in this one, you actually want to include some content as well. So here, so it's going to be all the same information. And then in the text group, you're going to put subscribe display name. So this will actually just pop. The person will just subscribe their display name. And then I put a text just subbed afterwards. So people know this person just subbed. They get that recognition. They get all that fun stuff. Okay, so once everything is done, this is basically I've ran you guys through all of that. There's more options down here, but you guys can explore through this one, connect it to Google, all that's fun stuff. So once that all is done, you're going to put OK, 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 take that off, and you're going to want to put save. Okay. So it will save the overlay for you. There we go. Overlay saved. Now we can exit this and go in here. And we can, so you can choose again any of these. I'm going to choose the one I made because that's the one I like. And then done. So now it is activated, set as overlay number one, and we have the overlay set. So let's go show you how it looks like on actual stream. So we're going to go to twitch.tv slash Simpsons. And we're just going to start up a s stream from our PlayStation. Just to show you guys that it does indeed work. And there we go. And there it is. Just popped up over here. We're all good. It does also show up on phones. So if somebody's watching this via their phone, they can actually see this. It'll pop up just about anywhere. So there it is. 
then you want to go over here open overlay settings and then put the volume up so that way when somebody does subscribe or follow the notification pops up and the sound pops up as well and there we go hope you guys enjoyed hope you guys learned some stuff and i hope you guys use this